How do you balance the welfare of livestock with an architectural aesthetic that befits the bucolic surroundings? We visit Austria, Switzerland and South Africa to find three dwellings for animals that are anything but beastly. Swiss architect Gian Caminada trudges through the snow towards three striking timber barns in the alpine village of Vrin. Caminada puffs on a cigar as he surveys the latticed timber walls and sloped roofs of the beautiful structures that he built back in the 1990s. The canny use of natural materials and pitched roofs which mimic the Swiss village vernacular may well be lost on the barn's residents, a burly bunch of cud-munching cattle. Despite this, Caminada's work has set a pleasing precedent in an industry otherwise focused on efficiency rather than aesthetics. Another standalone success in the world of animal architecture is a surreal-looking set of spiralling towers in South Africa. Finished in 1981, the structures are the remit of a family of grateful goats who happily clamber up these brick-built monoliths, duck through hollowed-out barrels and canter across wooden sky bridges between trees. Charles Back, the owner of Fairview Wine and Cheese, says that business has been buoyed by the sight of his garrulous goats, which are, we're assured, a favourite with kids. Likewise, in Vorarlberg, Austria, Ingo Metzler's farm is home to some 70 polar white Sarnen goats, the digs of which have more architectural flair than many a human home. Metzler's love of animals started when he received a goat as a birthday present at the age of 10, and this respect for his caprine herd is borne out in the high ceilinged space. Suspended galleries provide a vantage for visitors to see the roomy, timber-clad lodgings, a site guaranteed to put a spring in any cloven-hoofed step. There's an argument to say that animals aren't sentient of the efforts made by architects to improve their plight, but it's not an altogether convincing one. Pride in your surroundings shows that you're invested in your work and committed to caring for the creatures you keep. For Monocle, I'm Josh Fennett.